What's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be mainly talking about data tables uh, mainly the angular material uh, data table so a lot of guys were asking me about this and uh, they were asking me how to connect uh, this to the data in uh, firestore and how to pull for data from fire firestore and display it in a data table stuff like that and also how to do sorting filtering etc ever since i released that crud firestore video this has been the request of a lot of people in this channel so i thought uh, maybe i do a video on this today and uh, yeah let's go let's do it guys first of all i have scaffold out scaffolded out an application and then installed firebase and angular fire 2 in that application so that we could save some time this will be more like a two part video guys that is uh, this part we'll be seeing some stuff and the next part we'll see the remaining stuff because if not this video will be too long that's the primary reason so uh, let's just jump in first i'll create a service ng service uh, student okay we'll have some student data i'll show the data this is the collection students collection and each uh, and there are there are different documents under it each document will have three fields student age student grade and uh, student name so uh, we'll be this, uh, pulling this data from firebase and then displaying it on the uh, screen using the angular material 2 frameworks data table okay that's what we are primarily trying to achieve here uh, first we'll install this uh, yeah this is the data table there is a lot of documentation on this but many people were saying that this wasn't clear or this while using this code a lot of errors were occurring so uh, yeah uh, that that's one of the primary reasons let's just install this first now i'll install let this get installed meanwhile we'll just you know uh, do all the stuff that's needed for this browser animations right We'll go ahead and import this as well. And the service got generated, but it didn't get. use app.component.ts itself since this is going to be a basic demo first i'll create a form quickly so that we could add more data inside our collection uh, we'll use the material design for this form as well since we are about to use material design why not use the same for this as well uh, for that first we'll import a couple of Below this, we'll add our uh, first. We'll f finish off this entire thing.
Okay, wow, this is 10. That was quick, right? Uh, I'll get into this and then add. That was on the full forms module. Okay, uh, so now we have created a simple form using which we can add data to our collection. We haven't yet written the part where we add the actual data. So I'll just get in here and then import. Add student student data. Uh, this start AFS dot dot collection students dot add student data uh, dot then. Okay, very simple, right? We are simply adding uh, the data to students collection. Then we'll do some small adjustments here as well we just need to be okay now we have a simple very very simple interface to add a student to our student collection now we need to we also need to pull the data from the students collection and then display it on our screen in a data table right that's what we are aiming for in this that's what the main focus of this video is so let's start working on that as well it will look complicated guys but i assure you it's not complicated get into table we'll start with a simple table and then move on to sorting and then uh, filters right so this is a basic table so i'm viewing the code here Okay, first we'll get the CSS. Oh, max width. Okay, if it's minimum width, then it'll occupy the whole screen, right? So we just need a small table, that's it. And uh, then we'll get back to HTML. And uh, what else we need? We'll simply go ahead and copy this entire thing and then figure out what we don't need. That will be much easier, I guess. data source we need we need to create inside the okay we need first of all we don't need four we just need three right uh, let it be nine and uh, this is this is not great this is age rows and capitals okay this is done And uh, what else? Displayed columns we need. Okay, we'll get into app.component.ts. And here, I'll what I'll do is first I'll get the displayed displayed columns. Displayed columns is nothing but the definition that we give there, guys. What we gave name, right? Name, age, and uh, one more. What was that? Okay, grade. Okay, display columns is ready. Now the next thing we need is a data source. Data source, right? Uh, for this we'll extend the. Let's see what they have done. Yeah, they have used a data source from here, right? And then we need to give in an observable. Uh, it'll get data from that stream and then start displaying it as per our, uh, as per this code that we have written for display. That's the whole point of this. Okay. We are simply passing the observable here and then it will automatically display what's in the observable using this. It shouldn't be a student, this should be student 
name sorry name sorry name this should be student oh sorry Uh, yeah, it will be displaying based on this uh, whatever code we have written here. So we need to pass in an uh, observable for that, right? For that, we'll we need to extend this class. I'll show it in a simple way. Uh, this is the class that we wrote, right? Ex export class student data store uh, extends data store any that's how they have written right i don't actually data source any sorry sorry data source here also we'll just to have a good naming structure that's why you can give any name for that class as you wish and inside this I'll have a constructor this constructor will have private uh, what was it student right student student uh, service since this is a derived class we need to have a super call super call okay uh, and then what else do we need we need to have two functions connect this connect will be the one actually returning the observable so a return we haven't yet written a return code for getting all the data right get students this dot return this dot afs dot collection students reference reference dot where not where order by um edge student edge dot value changes so this will return an observable we can simply call this dot student dot get students okay now you understand the point right i will also have a disconnect This is done. Now we simply need to specify that this belong. We need to create an instance. That's it. Uh, this dot student. Student. Yeah. Okay. So far so good. What we have done is we have simply created a interface to add. Not interface. We have simply created a form to add the data to the collection. And then we have simply written code for pulling all the students doc documents from the collection displaying it on a uh, data table so uh, to display it on a data table we need to give the table an observable uh, using which it will automatically display all the uh, columns in the table in the uh, order that we specified here let's see how this works out so that you will get a better understanding of what i'm trying to say here Okay, I have added the CSS file here. Now let's see how it fares. This theme file, this is what I have added. Ah, it looks better now, right? Maybe we should, the button can have a color. It's a bit blank now, right? Looks cool, right? Now it looks a bit better, right? So as you can see, it has already pulled the data that we had in previously in our uh, Firestore collection. That is the students collection. It, we had three documents, right? It has right away gone ahead and pulled all those three. Let's add one more and see what happens. Uh, Steve, age 34, grade D. See, it got added, right? And since we are, remember, we are ordering the data by age. If you remember in our code, we are pulling it 
and I mean ordering it uh, by age and then pulling the data, right? So if I suppose give uh, age that's less, less than 24 now, say for example 23 and then this is uh, Mike and this is C. And if I add it, Mike will get the first preference, right? And as you can see, it's real time as, as well, right? So uh, yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. A lot of guys were asking me how to do, uh, how to combine material design and the data table. So this is how you do it. You will get a lot of errors, obviously. Kindly post it below in the comments and I'll try to reply to them as much as possible. Uh, I mean, when I can, when I get some time. Uh, in our next video, we will see how to, sort sorting is pretty much easy. You just need to add sort headers. There is a directive in a mat sort or something in like that. Filtering it will take some time. In our next video, we'll see all uh, both those as well. Already this video is a bit long, I guess. So yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. If you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them to, you know, they might be struggling or something. And uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.